What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yes, Sersky. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. We got Rihanna saying Jay Z gave her an STD, and she gave the ST to Chris B. Chris Brown, bro. STD. All right. So that's crazy. She's claiming that she got it from. Jigga, what's my motherfucking name? Jigga. <laughs> Jay-Z himself, man. Now, if this say all that I needed to hear today, bro, that's crazy. Let's see what we all are going to talk about on this one. Spicy. Ready for some sizzling Hollywood gossip that's swirling around Rihanna and Jay-Z. It's a wild twist that's got everyone talking. Wow, this happened twist. to me, and it can happen to anybody. You might remember the drama between Rihanna and Chris Brown, but now Rihanna's throwing a curveball, claiming Jay-Z has been mistreating her since she was a teen. And it Damn, doesn't stop there. Time. She's accusing him of giving her herpes, which supposedly Whoa. got passed to Chris Damn. Brown. Talk about a bombshell. Jay-Z gave her the herpes that she gave to Chris Brown. Rihanna and Jay-Z have been known for their close professional bond. With hits like Umbrella Run This Town and Talk That Talk, it's clear Jay-Z's had a big influence on her career. And Rihanna, she's been nailing it in the business world too, with her ventures like Fenty Beauty and Savage X Fenty. She said her work is her joy, which is pretty awesome, but now the story's taking a darker turn. Whispers are starting to surface about the real nature of Rihanna and Jay-Z's relationship. It seems there might be some behind-the-scenes tension similar to what Diddy experienced. Rihanna's recent revelations are shocking. She's not just talking about mistreatment. She's outright saying Jay-Z gave her herpes. This twist is linked to the infamous episode where Chris Brown assaulted her. It's five years probation and six months community labor for Chris Brown for his beating of Rihanna. It's said this revelation sparked their violent clash. Brown even hit back with a $10 million lawsuit against Rihanna, claiming she threatened him and hurt his career. The whole situation's turning the entertainment world upside down. Remember back in 2009, when Chris Brown was in the headlines for assaulting Rihanna, he claimed she gave him herpes. And now with Rihanna pointing the finger at Jay-Z, everything's getting more complicated. Rumors have been flying about Rihanna and Jay-Z's possible romantic link. And now this story's adding fuel to that fire. So now let's take a trip back to Rihanna's beginnings. Imagine her at 15 in Barbados full of potential and style. That's when she caught the eye of record producer Evan Rogers. Fast forward a bit and her debut single Pond to Replay is making waves, even landing on Jay-Z's desk at Def Jam Records. On a stroke of luck for a young Rihanna. The rumor mill has been churning with talk about Jay-Z's role in shaping Rihanna's early career. There's chatter that Rihanna could have been more than just a protege to Jay-Z, especially given his reputation with younger women. To when Rihanna signed with Def Jam, it's said that Jay-Z presented her with a tough choice, sign the contract or walk away. That night, Rihanna might have felt like her path to fame was through that Def Jam contract. And did it ever pay off? Rihanna started delivering hit after hit like Umbrella and Run This Town, all under Jay-Z's watchful eye. But the gossip doesn't end with just music. There's talk that Rihanna and Jay-Z's connection might have been more personal. Author Jay Randy terribly even suggested they might have dated in 2005, hinting at a possible strain between Jay and Beyonce that led to a temporary split. Now, Jay-Z is isn't just a mentor in the music biz. He's known for keeping a tight grip on the industry, especially when it comes to protecting his and Beyonce's power couple status. So Rihanna's rise to stardom might have been influenced not just by her talent, but also by Beyonce's approval. It's said that in the world of the Carters, they can make or break careers, and Rihanna's success story seems to be a testament to their influence. Now let's talk about Tiara Marie and her journey under Jay-Z's guidance. Back in 2005, Tiara was just 17 and seemed destined for stardom after signing with Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records. She dropped the hit Make Her Feel Good from her debut album and it was a big deal. Being called the princess of Def Jam Records, Tiara was living the dream thanks to Jay-Z's support. Meanwhile, Rihanna and Neo were also coming up at Def Jam despite being a newcomer from Barbados. Rihanna began to outshine Tiara, 
L.A. Reid, a big name in the music industry, admitted they initially saw Tiara as the bigger star. However, things changed after Beyonce noticed Rihanna's talent. Reid shared in his memoir how Beyonce's interest in Rihanna made them shift their focus. Suddenly, Tiara found herself on the sidelines, and Rihanna's career began to soar. Tiara's departure from the label wasn't exactly graceful. She didn't even get a proper goodbye from Jay-Z, who she looked up to like a father figure. Instead, she was informed of her contract's <laughs> end over a phone call from someone else at the label. It seemed Beyonce's preference for Rihanna played a role in this shift, leading to Tyra's fading spotlight while Rihanna's fame continued to rise. Switching gears, let's delve into Blue Cantrell's story. She was an R&B hit maker in the early 2000s, known for tracks like Hit 'Em Up Style and Breathe. Blue was on top of her game, giving Beyonce some serious competition. But then just like that, she disappeared. Rumor has it her vanishing act might is. be linked to a rumored feud with Beyonce. Blue even accused Beyonce of copying her music style, stirring up more talk about their rivalry. Blue was She's a big pretty, name, huh? but then she just vanished, leaving fans and the industry puzzled. Her sudden disappearance sparked a lot of rumors, especially because she had been so successful. Blue's prime years were marked by rumors of tension with Beyonce. The root of this tension, Blue noticed that Beyonce's baby boy seemed a bit too similar to her own hit with Sean Paul, Breathe. Both songs shared that edgy rap vibe. Blue didn't shy away from expressing her disappointment, feeling that Beyonce, who was already well-established, was copying her. This claim of plagiarism only added to the buzz around their supposed rivalry. But the drama around Blue didn't stop at rumors of rivalry. TMZ reported a bizarre incident involving her. She was found running through the streets of Santa Monica, ranting about people trying to kill her and exposure to toxic gas. It was such a serious Silent situation that the police had Damn. to intervene and Blue was taken to a hospital. After this incident, Blue's presence in the music industry faded and many wondered what really happened to cause her sudden fall from the limelight. Wrapping up this whirlwind of drama and mystery, it's clear that the music industry is never dull. The stories of Rihanna, Tiara, Mari, and Blue Cantrell show just how complex and intertwined relationships in Hollywood can be. From allegations against Jay-Z to the mysterious rise and fall of various artists, the influence of power players like Jay-Z and Beyonce is often a topic of intense speculation. Wow. So Jay-Z and Beyonce do have some power. We all know that. We all know that. Man, that's crazy. So that Blue, I've never heard of that artist, bro. Never heard of her. For real, I'm honestly, honest to God, I haven't heard of her. But she kind of favored Beyonce to me. She said Beyonce stole some of her style and one of her, her songs she had called Breathe. And that when Beyonce took the vibe of the song and went and got with Sean Paul and did Baby Boy. Damn. And then it says she went crazy one day out there running in the highway saying people trying to kill her like Martin Lawrence. That's when Beyonce stole her style. <laughs> two and two make four. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. But I know two and two makes four. Hollywood is crazy. Well, yeah, I'll tell you one thing. But I don't never want to be part of Hollywood. Never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs>